The home run. Arguably one of the most exciting plays in all of sports. In the blink of an eye, it can bring 30,000 people to their feet, letting out a chaotic roar. The home run is iconic and is directly linked to some of the most legendary names in the sport. Willie Mays, Ken Griffey Jr., Hank Aaron, Babe Ruth, and of course, Barry Bonds. The last three of those being named the Home Run Kings, each breaking the previous's record. Babe Ruth being one of the most iconic with 714 home runs in 1935, then Hank Aaron beating the Babe in 1974, and then ending his career with a whopping 755 home runs in 1976. And just over 30 years later, in 2007, Barry Bonds dethroned hammering Hank Aaron with a total of 762, becoming the all-time home run king. But what if I told you that wasn't entirely true? That Hank Aaron was the record holder for only three years, and that Barry Bonds was never the home run king, falling short by over 100 home runs. This is why baseball's home run king isn't who you think. Let's bring this back to the 1957 Japanese Spring Koshin Tournament, which, for those who don't know, is a Japanese high school baseball tournament where the best teams in the country are invited to compete against each other, showing off some of the best talent in Japan. A young pitcher by the name of Sadaharu O oh was turning heads by pitching four complete games in four straight days, picking up the win in all of them. Honestly, I'm curious how many pitches he threw in four days. His skill continued to develop through high school, where in 1959, he signed his first pro contract for the Yumiuri Giants of the NPB. Okay, so why are we talking about a pitcher when we should be talking about an absolute unit who hit 868 tanks? This pitcher, Sadaharu O, oh, didn't have what it takes to be a professional pitcher and then transformed into one of the most dangerous hitters the game has ever seen. He struggled the first year batting 161 and was in dire need of a change. Luckily, change came his way and it was in the form of a big pink bird, the flamingo. Well, not the bird, but a massive flamingo leg kick that doubled his home run output and put him on the path to the record books. At the same time, someone else was making a run for the record books. That was Hank Aaron who, at the time of O's debut, had already amassed 140 home runs. Just to compare the two for a second, Aaron had 66 home runs by the end of his third season, while O had only achieved 37 in the same span. If we do a little bit of quick math, at the time, O would have been chasing Ruth's 714 home runs like everyone else, and he would have needed to average roughly 36 home runs a year if he played 19 more seasons. That's one less home run than he had hit in three total seasons. Luckily, the power of the Flamingo was with O, and he didn't just average 36 home runs in his following 19 years, he averaged an insane 43.7, basically 44 home runs a year, which is insane. To put that into perspective, in the major leagues at this current date in 2022, hitting 44 home runs in a single season has been done only 154 times and O had to average that for 19 years. As O's and Aaron's careers continued, they proceeded to cause havoc to opposing pitchers and climb closer and closer to Ruth's record. As the world watched the two climb, it was Aaron on April 8th, 1974, who would beat the Babe's record. Two years later, Aaron would retire with a total of 755 home runs in 1976, setting a very high bar for O and the rest of the world to go against. That same year, O had just beaten the Babes record, as well as finishing with 716 home runs, but he wasn't done there. At the age of 37, on September 3rd, 1977, a new home run king was crowned. O ended the season with an incredible 50 home runs, putting him at 766, 11 more than Aaron's record. But he wasn't done there. O played another three seasons and added 102 knocks to the total, putting him at 868, which was 113 more than the previous record, and 106 more than Barry Bonds. As most of you know, the MLB is the peak when it comes to baseball, and Barry Bonds, without a doubt, 
is the most feared hitter the MLB has ever had. But who knows what O could have done in the league. And without a doubt in my mind, his 868 home runs will never be broken. From a struggling pitcher to the home run king, Sadaharu O's career was one of legendary status. He will go down as one of the greatest home run hitters the world has ever seen, and one of the greatest Japanese hitters of all time. Sadaharu O is the home run king.